Yo guys, quickly before this video starts on Rigor, you really, really want to do this. So go home and go to the referral chest and then it will say, please select your referral, go to YouTube and then go to my name Sprad. And once you do that, you'll be getting a Rigor box and the Rigor box is actually so OP. You can get things like an AGS, a Zenite Shard, full Bandos, a Trident. Honestly, this might be a little too OP for a referral, but uh, you know, they're, they're giving it out. So you might as well claim it while you can. Let's go ahead and spin it and see what we get. Oh my god. Look how close I was to the armadillo chest plate. Come on, man. Oh, we got the holy elixir. Oh, that's disgusting. But for today's giveaway, we're going to be giving away two $50 bonds to two lucky winners. And all they have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Very easy to enter. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy episode three of the Iron Man on Rigor. Well, let's see what we get from this crystal key. Oh my god, 25 total five. Crystal keys are actually really good for um, herbs. Speaking of herbs, we got to get our herb layer up and our farming. We're literally one in each skill. So yeah, let's get that up right now all right we're only 22 thieving so let's get that up right now just gonna get it up at the stalls at home all right can we steal from any of these ones 50 to steal from that 75 to steal from that and then 65 from that one so i guess we're gonna stick to the silk for a while can't remember what level even is a master farmer oh only level 38 okay i can get that really fast I think sigman actually buys everything as well so i'm gonna sell all this shit to him oh wow that's a lot of cash 100k just by doing that all right let's go to the falador farm and steal from the master farmer this is like literally the best way to get seeds boys we just hit 60 thieving got a lot of seeds as well man we have so many this will really last a long time but let's buy our basic stuff from the master farmer seed dibbler the rake i wonder how i get compost i think you get compost from the general stores over here yeah there we go all right just planted my first amount of herbs let's see what farming we get after this we're already 11. we've got way too much stuff in my inventory <laughs> all right just after doing one guam seed we got 19 farming that's really good now we can plant the marin till let's see how long this one takes only 15 seconds to mature plants on here mature so fast compared to like other servers in old school it's really nice all right we can already pick it damn already 28 farming this is so fast all right we're 34 farming right now and we can now plant renar seed so that's going to give us a lot of purple potions we got eight seeds as well honestly i thought i'd have more because i did pickpocket that one dude till 70 thieving but i mean it's it's all good it's all good let's see how many renards we get from this please don't be like two and then you fucking die come on bro keep going keep going all right five so far okay that's quite a lot i'm not gonna lie oh dude we only got six off of that all right it's time to get that herb lore up currently sitting at 13 we're gonna make some uh attack potions i think Yep, attack potions is the first thing you can make. All right, let's see how much XP we get from these. All right, we just got 23 herb lore from that, not bad. We just hit 38 herb lore, and that means we can now make prayer potions. So let's go, dude. We don't ever have to worry about our prayer running out now. All right, so when I first created this account, I did some pest control, and we have 380 points right now, but there's not many people doing pest control. So I think I'm going to get barrel gloves for 80 and then the torso for 300 and then just get elite void from donating because as an Iron Man, you can actually donate for elite void. I would just get the elite void and grind it out by doing best control, but I mean, not many people are doing it. And if I can just get it off the store, that saves so much time. And honestly, I probably get burnt out of just doing hours and hours of pest control. So yeah, let's buy the barrel gloves and then let's get the fighter torso. There we go, boys. It would actually been smart if I would have got the fighter hat because I don't really even have a helmet. I don't know why I bought that. Fuck. Why did I do that? We can always rock that mithril helmet though. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, and you might not even be wondering, you might just be watching the video not even thinking about it, but I don't have a fire cape yet, and the reason being is because it's actually 10 waves, like the lowest one you can do is 10 waves, and I only have one range, and I don't have void yet, so that's why I haven't done it, but I think I'm going to get it done pretty soon. For my range, I was thinking I might just make some knives. I do have nearly 70 smithing, so I think I can make, no, I can't make adamant knives, but I can make mithril, and that's really all we need. I might get an MSB though, but that's going to be hours of freaking wood cutting and i'm not looking forward to that mm, i might just do that though like i might as well because i'm gonna need bolts and i gotta get my fletching up anyways so let's do some wood cutting also i didn't even know this but you can buy the avis accumulator from the general store so yeah we got the avis accumulator now all right we just hit 40 wood cutting now we can use our rune axe pretty nice milestone just hit 70 wood cutting stats aren't looking too bad 1.2k total level as well all right guys we're gonna be doing the main melee tournament this goes on like uh, every few hours i think on the server i'm not entirely sure what you do get if you win but we'll see we'll see man six people in the lobby there's two minutes left i assume there'll probably be like 10 people all right here we go 
Dude, I just fucking whip spec them. No way I whip spec them. Oh, what is he doing, bro? He's kicking me. Well, that was an easy fight. All right, here we go. The second fight. I didn't even mean to use my spec right there, but that was a 40G mall spec. Is he dead right there? Good fight. One more guy left. All right, here we go. Oh, we're in the finals. Holy shit, an 81. Dude, he just hit double zero with his AGS and his Gmall. I think I'm going to win. Here we go. Is he dead? 33. Not bad. Let's go in for the whack. Dude, he's literally giving up. What's up with people just giving up in this tournament? I'm not letting this guy fucking die like this. All right, whatever. Thank you, brother. Okay, so let's see what we get for winning. We get 50 rigor points, and we also got 35 PK points. Where do you spend them, though, I wonder? Surely not at this guy. I'm not entirely sure where you spend it, but uh, that's pretty cool. 35 PK points. It is the next morning, and we just voted, and we get 12 more voting tickets, dude. Like, I didn't know you got this many, so it's currently double voting for some reason. But let's uh, claim these vote tickets. I have 15 points. I think I'm just going to buy three vote mystery boxes. Fuck it, boys. Here we go. Let's see what we get from the first one. Uh, cannon barrel. That's not good. I'm pretty sure I could just buy that somewhere. Unfortunate. Oh, cosmetic mystery box? No way do we get a cosmetic mystery box, dude. <laughs> We're an Iron Man, though, so whatever I get, it's just gonna be worthless. Let's see what we can get from it, though. Uh, that's a lot of cool stuff, I'm not gonna lie. Joker. Like, what the hell? I wonder if that makes you look like the actual Joker. Alright, let's see what we get from this, though. Um... Yuri's hat. Definitely not worth much. I can already bet my money on that. Alright, let's see what we get from the third vote mystery box. Oh, uh, Dragon Javelin, dude. That was a horrible opening, I'm not gonna lie. Also, we're really close to getting 80 fletching, and once we get 80 fletching, we'll be able to make a magic shortbow. So yeah, that's gonna be really, really nice. We're like, how much XP off are we? 27k, so that's literally an inventory, and then we got it. There it is, 80 fletching. Let's go cut down a magic tree and get that magic short bow. Alright, we got the magic log. Let's go ahead and use a knife on it and then make the magic short bow. There it is, boys, the magic short bow. Alright, now we gotta get a bow string out. There we go. We can't wear it because we are one range. I, I gotta start training my range up for sure. <laughs> Alright, we're doing a little bit of farming and we just got 60 farming. It's really good that I'm actually doing this because I need potions and whatnot. I'm only 54 herblur, so I really gotta do this. Let's see what herblur level I get from uh, cleaning all these. There's 55. I guess I'm only gonna get 55. That's fine. There's 70 farming. Let's go. All right. So I just planted all my ear seeds and I ended up getting like 139 ear leaves. So that's 139 attack potions, guys. Right now we are 56 herb lore. Let's see what level we get. I hope we get something really high, man. This is going to be a lot of XP. Also, a big thing about Rigor that I like is their presets. No, it's nothing like crazy. Other servers have it, but it's just always nice to see a server has presets. So when you're skilling, it makes your life way easier and not having to like bank and whatnot. All right, we just ended up with 65 Herblur. Not too bad, baby. Not too bad. Our stats are looking really good. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, we did end up getting fully void with all the helmets. Didn't end up doing all the pest control games for it. It is on the store for us Iron Man. So yeah, I, I pulled it off there, but uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal considering it would just be like an extra three hours of me just grinding and like wanting to neck it. All right, like uh, I don't, I've done way too much pest control. I'm glad it's actually on the store for the Iron Man. All right, let's pull out the short bow and go to Cole colon train also i need to make arrows dude like i don't have any arrows but we ended up getting 38 range from uh those arrows that we had so we gotta go get arrows i don't know if i can buy them from any store if i can't i'll just make them this is literally all the bars i have in my bank uh, i don't even feel like mining dude e. all right let's see how many arrowheads it gives me okay so one bar is 15 that's not bad actually that's 30 arrows right there we gotta get some steels now the only problem is I won't be able to use the Mithra arrows, but we should hit 50 range soon so we can use the Magic Shore Bow. Alright, just created all my arrows. Let's get this range up. We got the Void in the inventory, and then I think it's time we get that Fire Cape. There we go, 50 range. Now we can use the Magic Shore Bow, and we can use the Aves Accumulator. Alright, just at 70 range. I, I would do the Fire Cape at 70 range, but we only have Mithril arrows. I kind of want to get Adamant before I do it. I don't know though. I I'll try it, and if I die, then I'll just go to Adamant. <laughs> 